Hey, are you in the market for a new suitcase? Well, you might want to watch this video. I'm going to compare my tried and true Travel Pro Crew 11 bag and my brand new eBags Calia 22 inch spinner bag. Stay tuned if you want to know more. Flight 527 ready for departure. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, thank you for visiting. My name is Martha and this is my Moxie Life. Here on my channel, I like to talk about flight attendant life. I post workouts that I do on the road and sometimes at home. And currently, I have been at home shopping way too much. Anybody else? Can you relate? I'm on a Facebook group of a bunch of flight attendants. And of course we all share information and talk about flight attendant in flight attendant stuff. So one day I was scrolling on there and I have kind of been wanting to look for a new suitcase, but I haven't wanted to spend the money. So lo and behold, I look on Facebook one day and there it is. $51 for a 22 inch spinner bag. What's a spinner bag? Spinner bag has four wheels on the bottom instead of two. So I'm gonna tell you about my first bag that I bought as a flight attendant and the new bag that I have and why I decided to buy this new bag. Let's talk about the Travel Pro Crew 11. The Travel Pro Crew 11, when I bought it uh, over two years ago, was $143 on sale on Amazon. I will link to that below in the description if you're interested in checking it out. Um, it, it has two wheels and it is a 22 inch bag, which actually, if you go and look at the specs on Amazon or on the website, on the Travel Pro website, it actually is 23.5 inches. Now, had I known at the time how big the overhead bin is on a CRJ200. If you know what I'm talking about, comment below because that bin is small. <laughs> and uh, this bag, while it is an amazing bag, it was a stretch to get it into that overhead bin. I had to make sure that I didn't overpack. If I overpacked, I was gonna be pulling stuff out to put it in the overhead bin. So if you travel on small aircraft, I do not recommend this bag. It will be a uh, chore to get in the overhead bin. Although a lot of times on those aircraft, they don't let you um, carry on. They make you check it. So um, the cool thing about the, the Travel Pro, I'm gonna show you right now. I'm gonna pull this puppy up on my lap. Um, it has this little side pocket, which is one of the things that sold me on it for your USB charger. So you can slip your little battery pack in there. Now it doesn't come with an actual battery on board, which makes it nice because smart bags are not allowed. You have to remove the batteries on pretty much every aircraft. You cannot check a bag with a, a smart battery because they can catch fire and fires in airplanes are bad. So you put your little battery in here and then there's a plug-in and you plug it in. So then you flip this puppy around and there's a little uh, charging port right here. If you can see that, there's a little charging port. So then you can plug your phone or whatever you need to charge into it. So I thought that was pretty cool. To be honest, I might've used it like four times in the last two years. I just always plugged it right into my battery. I don't know. So while it seemed like a cool feature, maybe, maybe not. One of my favorite things about this bag is that it has this attachment for a J hook as a flight attendant, because usually we're carrying our suitcase, our food bag, and oftentimes another um, tote or a carry on with our required items for work. Um, we usually will have to have three bags. So it's nice to have this little J hook to hook a bag on the front. So I always put my lunch bag on this J hook and then my tote on the top. Um, other cool features of this bag, it has a very uh, comfortable handle. The handle is curved, ergonomic handle. And um, i trying to think what else, not too heavy. It's about seven pounds by itself. Um, I don't know how much I packed it to, probably over 30. 
I don't know what the limit is. I don't remember. I think it's 35 that you can have for a carry-on. But um, as far as interior features, nothing really special. It just has, it has you know, the, the side zippers and then one big compartment at the top. Mine still has stuff in it <laughs> from work. Uh, have it totally unpacked and it has my little tag on it. Um, so one of the main reasons I bought a new bag was because I wanted to change to a four wheel bag. Um, this bag has two wheels, which are excellent wheels, smooth, never had any issues with them, and then two stands. Um, so let me show you now. Let me compare and show you the e-bags. So when I bought this, it was $143 on Amazon. Right now, it is $219. All right, so let's show you the e-bags bag. Um, has a lot of cool front pockets, which I think will be very handy um, for bringing my laptop and stuff. There's one feature missing on this, on the e-bags bag that is included on the Travel Pro bag, and that is the hook for the J-hook or the strap. So what I'll probably do is order a, they do have what are just called a luggage strap and I'll strap it on uh, here because I really have to have three bags. I don't know how to travel without three bags. Um, everything you don't need while you're traveling goes in here. Everything you need to have on hand goes in your tote and then of course your food bag. Obviously if you carry a food bag, that's three bags. So, uh, but the main reason I purchased this bag, well, two main reasons. <laughs> two main reasons I purchased this bag is the spinner wheels. Okay, see the spinner wheels? Yeah. So my shoulder has been getting really sore when I pull my other bag. This bag has the option to just roll without having to pull or have that pressure um, drag, that drag on your shoulder. So that was the main reason. Um, secondary to that, it was on sale for super cheap. I'm hoping it holds up. My Travel Pro has held up so well. I've had literally no issues with it. It is in great shape. I mean, other than normal wear and tear from shoving it in a overhead bin or getting thrown around underneath when I have to check it, it's doing great considering it has gone with me everywhere. So um, the other thing was uh, this was on sale for $51, 5-1. So it is normally priced also $219 on their website. I had, did not look to see what it was on Amazon. I will link to it below so you guys can check it out. This bag is a 22 inch bag. It is uh, essentially the same size as the, um, it is, it is the same size as the Travel Pro, but it has the four wheels. So that makes it a tiny bit heavier, I guess. I don't know. It's about um, it's about four ounces heavier. I don't think I'm going to notice, especially because now I can roll it. Um, other than that, I haven't used this bag yet. Um, it will be used soon when I go back to work, um, but I'm very excited to use this new bag and I will let you know if it holds up, but that's it. Uh, one thing that I'm excited about for the new bag is hopefully the stability. When I do have it all loaded up, sometimes when the Travel Pro is all loaded up, because of the stands and my bag on the front, it would tip over. I could never keep it standing up straight. So I'm hoping that because of the difference in the weight balancing that maybe this new bag because of its four wheels will work a little bit better at balancing all my stuff we'll see <laughs> thank you for stopping by i hope this was helpful to you and if you're looking for more flight attendant content please check out my homepage and check out the linked videos for more flight attendant information